Hello, friends and lovers. Welcome back to Tiny Roads. And we're going to take out the doppelganger this run. We're going to remain at Cinderate. It was kind of a fun amount. It was kind of, I guess, slightly on the easier side of things. But, you know, yeah, it's just because we're so skilled. No, probably not. <laughs> but there's an achievement for repairing the broken hero's sword. And it's kind of vague what's going on here. Only somebody with a wish for death would contemplate using this. I don't know what that means. I assume it makes the game harder. So the doppelganger... You gain Shape Changer, will copy the ability, starting equipment, and weapon from a random other class. So it sounds to me like they just, it's sort of like a random option, but then you also got this random option in the bottom right. So I guess I'm actually kind of a little confused as to uh, what that would be. Maybe they don't tell you, and that's what makes it interesting. So let's see if we can find out. Shadow Jutsu. On Dash, summon a Shadow Clone. Wait a minute, we just did this, didn't we? We actually got the... The ninja one, basically. Interesting. All right, well, I mean, it is what it is. So it give, that gives us the starting weapon, the starting loadout. So we get a bunch of stamina and dash stuff, basically. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. I guess we didn't just do it. We recently did it, though. Myth roll for material. Oh, oh yeah, where is this item that they're talking about? I actually don't see it. They're, oh, wait, no, it's, uh, it's right here. Oh, it's a weapon. It is a weapon. Do I need to have it on? It sounds like it's terrible. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty terrible. So Mithril, okay, I wonder how much work this is gonna be and whether the payoff's gonna be good or not. I kind of wanted to make sure that it's equipped. I can't use it or anything. You can probably assume we need to go to the blacksmith with it, huh? Interesting, okay. I kind of like the mystery that they got for us here though. I kind of like it. <laughs> Two keys, yeah. I think I'm gonna take that. All right, we gotta remember to use our dashes for the shadow clones. This is, uh, there's only one other class after this that I have not used yet. Or, er, yeah, I haven't gotten a win yet, I should say. There's probably uh, several of the starting classes that I never used. For the tubes here. Hmm. Ooh. 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 Yeah, I definitely don't want to lose the heart from that. I did think about whether or not to bomb it. Arcade for our last bomb, but we have no money. And then I couldn't even bomb it afterwards. Damn, that stinks, huh? I guess... We have to go this way then, right? Crumbs. Hmm, I am going to go for this. What do you got for us? 10% increased damage depending on how good you are. Maybe we'll go to heaven then. I think we start with plus one alignment anyway. No, we don't. Okay, never mind. I thought maybe we did. Doo -doo -boo. Yeah, I'm going to assume that... Hmm, do we want a ranged weapon? I don't even know. We do want a new weapon probably. Yeah, and I... Well, I can't roll it anyway. I want a weapon over his boots, that's for sure. All right, Spider Queen. Try to use up the dashes for the Shadow Clones. That's one, baby. Okay. Nothing to really look at on the way here. So I guess what we're mostly looking for is whatever it takes to get the... Uh, to get the Broken Hero Sword going, you know what I mean? Crappy fidget glaive. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> so we got kind of like, if we got a laser gun, it actually drains mana too. Deals energy damage. Also has a bad, a bad enchantment though. Inflicts bleed, huh? Far. Far. Kind of just curious about the laser gun. It's probably stupid to use it over the, the tome in actuality, I would say. It's probably not a good idea. Both of them are mana draining, so I guess that aspect doesn't matter. Okay, let's get some more stats going on. Got some enchanted enemies. Okay. So yeah, our mana's gonna get drained pretty often. Ooh, rare is actually pretty good this early, right? I'm not really certain what we're looking for here. Sickles, jagged sickles, medium range. Has extra crit chance. Hmm. Deals slashing damage, inflict bleed, and can hit multiple times. Interesting. Poisonous concoction. Um. 
fragility. It's trash, though. Ghost javelins. Tortoise-like. That's horrible. 30% reduced attack speed. It's too bad. This one actually sounds kind of different. Huh? Harp crossbow. Minus one to all scalings. The scaling is pretty weak already. So it was C and it got downgraded to D. Hmm. Admittedly, poisonous concoction kind of sounds interesting, but I feel like we should be doing the sickles. It's probably the best one. The javelins I would have taken, but that, that enchantment is just absolutely devastating. Lee bad. <laughs> okay. These have kind of a short range going on. I'm still going to take some in here. But it's okay. We're just holding out for the broken hero sword. You know what I mean? We're just trying to keep it alive until then. Diddle -do -diddle -do -diddle -do -do. Grants two spinning blade orbitals. When you inflict bleed, you also inflict a stack of poison based on the same infliction damage. Ailments inflicted by non-crits have 100% increased effect. Ailments. That probably includes bleed, right? So, I mean, this weapon inflicts bleed. Hmm. Hmm. So, should I go for the poison one? Or we bleed people? What if I can't keep that up? You know what I mean? What happens when we switch weapons? Let's try it out. I'm gonna try it out. Maybe we can get, like, damage per debuff or something. We've tried to go dots before, and it seemed like we got quite a few things that should have worked well with it, but in the long run, it didn't end up feeling that great, I felt. Got a trap door here. Okay. Here, money. Probably the money. Hey, whoa, whoa. An XP shard, which isn't much. So I haven't seen a blacksmith. Let's go money over key here. I'm going to assume we need to see the blacksmith for this mithril thing. Uh, blessing shrine. It's just a temp buff and we're early on in the floors. I'd rather get bombs to make sure we can get, you know, the rewards that we want, right? That's the way I'm looking at it. A key to get one dex. Now that is a bit tough. I think I'll hold out and see if we can uh, make better use of that that key, basically. What do we got here? Mobility Blessing. More stamina stuff. Alright, so... I think our weapon's pretty good. That I don't feel the need to get something else. I'll, I'll look at gloves, I think. Basically. Do rocks bleed? That hit me? No, it did not. I was also out of stamina, it kind of seemed. I kind of like this boss. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> I kind of like this boss until it goes on for too long. <laughs> as long as it's not the jousting champion, really. Ooh, an epic. Okay. What is that, an offhand? It's an accessory. On bleed tick, inflict a stack of hemorrhage. We have no accessory. What does hemorrhage do? Stackable debuff that makes target take 5% more damage to health per second. Stacks last, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Hits with melee attacks inflict armor break. I guess we're going Omega Bleed if we can. Right? Bleed City. Bleedopolis. We're gonna try at least. I don't know if this is gonna work out. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Well, let's just get some more stats, I think. Okay, so now we inflict three different debuffs with our attack. Our short range kind of makes these enemies a bit more annoying. Set item stash. Yeah, we can probably look. So hopefully with a couple of uh, lead items in our inventory, or rather... Yeah, a couple of bleed items and a bleed trait. We'll see more things that have the have that keyword, right? Meteor armor? It's not very good. It does give us plus one armor. Oh, but it weighs a ton. Okay, so we're passing for a while. I think we do decks over a wooden chest, right? Man, we've been sitting at one health for a while now. <laughs> 
I don't know if we're gonna go for oh right we got a charm that incentivizes us to look for good right you know we don't have any rolls still right zero rolls okay we had a free roll on our first trait so actually now that I think about it holy god ah! come on Metal Gear holy I can't believe I didn't get absolutely walloped there to be honest holy god Ugh. okay we like buying dice I can't even buy anything to have good to up our good oh this gives us plus one lawful hmm write that down we can look at the blacksmith now how you doing bud I have no money so what if I I have mithril you don't have enough gold crap hmm all we got was five red dice fascinating I have no money for the shop. Hmm. Yeah, it's not very clear what you do with the mithril yet. I guess I gotta take a curse here, right? I mean, you'd think it would have something to do with the blacksmith. I don't know if they want me to upgrade the sword. I have no idea. All right, let's get another trait. That's the one achievement I'm kind of aiming for. So I hope <laughs> I hope I don't flounder on it. There's plenty more achievements that we need to get. Some of them are much longer. Like one of them is get uh, 10 doppelganger wins. So this is going to be number one out of 10 since I've yet to have any. So we got the spinning blades. That does inflict bleed. That's not very good. On the tally of five primary attack hits at close range. Mark the enemy with fighter's mark. Hmm. Mark that guarantees a ruthless hit. Grants fighters reward. Grants 50% increased top end damage. Through your on bomb effects, pretty bad. I don't think inflicting more bleed would be super helpful. I I'm gonna say it's gonna be close combat. If we get the sword going, it it kind of works anyway. Since I'm sure it'll be, it'll have like a bit of a short range to it, right? Do, 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 do. Please don't get hit. Okay, we're cool. It's the regular chambers that are scarier than anything, huh? I'm not even certain we've been hit this run yet. What's our hat do? It gives us plus one stamina, which is pretty good. Your lucky hits charm. We currently have 0%, so not very good. Uh, plus five intelligence. Pretty bad. Your cursed hits deal guaranteed critical hits. Plus one evil. Oh, for crying out loud here. <laughs> yeah, these are all pretty rough. Plus five intelligence or plus one stamina. Just doesn't really make a lot of sense here. We have six decks, six intelligence. Hmm. What's our body armor do right now? Increased dash length, which doesn't really mean anything. I guess I'm putting on the wedding dress. And we have no rolls for this, right? Oh, whoops. I couldn't look. We have no rolls. I guess I'm putting it on. Sure. I can't put on the other armor still. Evil shop. Right now, we have plus one in the lawful. We have a charm that is supposed to incentivize us to up our good. So I guess I'm going to skip the evil shop. I think you can visit the evil shop, actually. It's fine, right? Oh, well. And this way, I get to get plus one heart. Because we have, like, nothing, right? We only have one health to our name. Okay. Bit of a, a strange start here. We may be willing to roll that trait when, if and when we get some obsidian dice, but I'm probably not going to rush it. There we go. Rare weapons. Yeah, I think I'm good with looking at some rare weapons again. Although, we, we got to remember the bleed thing. We've got a lot of bleed stuff going on. 
Global tally threshold requirements. Yeah, maybe it wasn't necessary to look here. I don't see anything that inflicts bleed. This might sell for more than the rest. Mimic golden chest. Okay. We haven't seen any more mithril. We need money. Right? We got to be careful. Oh, the wedding ring is here. Oh, right. But I can't do this set, really. Plus 5% lucky hit chance per weapon upgrade level. We'd have to take off the hand of blood for that, huh? Damn. Can we? Should we? What does hemorrhage do again? Makes target take 5% more damage to health per stack. Stacks last 4 seconds decaying at the same time. So up to 20% more. I mean, it sounds good. Hmm. Grants plus one to weapon upgrade level. I don't know what's better here. It could be that it's the wedding ring for now. It could be. But I don't want to get rid of... Uh, I don't want to get rid of the other offhand because maybe it'll just eventually put on another body armor when we get a decent one, right? I don't think it's going to be this body armor because it's mana related. And all, it weighs a ton. It just doesn't do a whole lot. All right, there we go. We got some money in ourselves. So now we're kind of just waiting for the blacksmith. We can't sell the broken hero sword. Or rather, I shouldn't sell it. Uh-oh. -uh. I hope we didn't need to get, like, a bunch of mithril and I'm, like, really far behind now. Which is possible. Whoa. Uh, event? Event. Okay, what is this? Throw one gold into the well. Throw another gold into the well. Okay. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Plus one luck! Yes, luck is amazing. Luck is extremely helpful. I gotta be careful what we spend money on here. Couple of keys. No, that's probably not worth it. No. Each spider grants plus 25% critical hit multiplier. 18 gold? It's not bad. Uh, it's not bad. I guess we'll do it. And I can use it twice to get two spiders out, right? Because we have... It only weighed... Those companions only weigh half of one. There is an achievement for getting like 10 companions out at the same time. That seems hard. I will look at gloves, right? Do, 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 do. I hope that broken hero sword inflicts bleed or something. <laughs> I'm not going to hold my breath. Hey. Okay. Alright, vampire down. Okay. So we are plus one on the lawful. Chaotic doesn't do anything in the game right now, by the way. These are common. I don't even know if it's worth looking at. Tally at 10 primary attacks. Shoot three seeking missiles at the nearest enemy dealing explosion damage. Good enough, right? Good enough. Probably pretty decent, really. So I think once we get a different body armor we're good to put on, we'll probably swap, right? Our sickles are plus one. Yeah, let's, let's keep up on the money. I think. We're also charming enemies, apparently, sometimes. I think that's what those eyes mean. Woo! Plus one dex. Okay. Oh, man. That was close. We're good, right? Oh, my God. Why are there so many things? Took a hit. Oh my god. That was frightening to say the least. I'm gonna have to use a flask. Okay. Uh, let's go more dice. Dice are just worth more, I think. Uh, 
don't know if those enemies were enchanted in some way in the prior room. Come on, go get them. Yeah, definitely this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not even a question. Need that equipment load. It's interesting because I, I feel like this has been a great game where every run just feels quite different. Right? Like suddenly we're trying to get a lot of bleed and things that have to do with bleed, right? Search the bed. Nothing here. There's the blacksmith. Aha. Uh -huh. What do we got? We got some whiskey. Kind of forget what whiskey does exactly. Nothing. Aha. Uh -huh. More whiskey. Okay, but we can only have two at a time. Okay, so I guess I should try to upgrade the broken hero sword first. Let's see what happens. I enhance the weapon. Thank you for the trade. The mithril's still there, though. Huh. What do you think it means, then? Hmm. So upgrading it doesn't do anything? Crap. I guess we might have to look it up or something real quick. <laughs> okay, I looked it up. Never mind. We do have to upgrade it. I wish they... I kind of wish they told us. We have to get it to plus three, so I can't do it right now. We have to get to plus three. It says plus three, but it's not actually. And then if you have the mithril in the inventory, it evolves or some jazz. What if I go to the next room? I was thinking if it has plus one from other equipment, I wonder how that works, right? Okay. I hope it scales with dex too, by the way, because we got a lot of dex. We do not have a lot of strength. Tally of five attacks with magic weapon. Repeat the attack. No. Critical hits with melee ranged attacks. Trigger the attack of non-channeling magic weapon. No. On non-triggered lucky hit trigger chain lightning. These are okay. I mean, this is the only reasonable one. I think we're gonna roll it, though. I do like alacrity. It might turn out that the broken hero sword is useless for us, though. While you have a mark reward, your primary attacks at far range. No. Repeat attacks. No. Alacrity is just generally good, right? I hope that it has deck scaling. I really hope. <laughs> so we need a lot of money because we have potentially many things to upgrade because if it turns out we don't like the broken hero sword or rather the hero sword when it evolves, we may need to upgrade another weapon too. Okay. Accessory. Yeah, we'll look at new body armor. Uh, maybe we should roll these. The boots are pretty weak. Our helmet's not amazing. Yeah, we have a lot of rolls too. We could go for a charm. Give us like all epics or something here though, you know? Apparently I can't make that happen. All right, now we'll take a charm. I'm gonna stick with the spider companions. They're good enough, I think for now. The Pied Pipes. I mean, we're doing okay. We definitely ain't doing bad. Doo -doo -doo -doo. These, you know what would be good? Our, our speedy runs to try to get those 10 doppelganger wins, right? It would probably be quite useful to just do a few of those. Is that an epic charm? Plus one maximum companion capacity. Okay. That's pretty interesting. So I can actually just get a couple more spiders right now. There we go. Law shop, good shop. I guess we're going to the good shop. Uh, that's not very useful. Damage to fiends. Calcium's good. I kind of... I kind of want to buy two things here, though. Just because I want to make sure that our good goes up high enough. But that is just so beyond useless, right? Maybe eventually we'll get some armor. Uh, I guess I'm going to try to hold. I guess I'm going to try to hold. We might fail to see the final boss, but what can you do, right? Platoon. Bombs are not very good, and I'm not big on the shrines. Yeah, I really want to make sure we get some money. I don't know. The oh, wait. No, we had no keys for that 
chest anyway, so yeah. Get him! Okay. Trait tomes. Trait tomes. Trait tomes. Whoa. Oh, that's a lot of money. I do worry our about our equipment load being kind of kind of low, but yeah, we need the money. Getting sucked in over here. I'm probably not using our dash clones as much as I could. More money. Okay. Little little do do. Pawn shop, huh? Great tomes are not very useful. I don't have a single thing to pawn, actually. I guess I'm gonna go look at some trait tomes. Who knows? We do have at least one that's kind of not great, right? Oh, crap. Something hit me. Okay, we're at a flask. Berserk, can we deal a critical hit or ruthless hit gain berserk? Apparently, our critical hit chance is 51%. A non-triggered lucky hit, blah, 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 15%. There's no way that's like our true critical hit chance. There's no way. Hmm. Do-do-do-do-do. Kind of looking around here. Hmm. Whiskey gives us attack speed. So, yeah, this would replace something when you deal a critical hit. So I could get rid of the close combat thing. Right? Hmm. Oh, but then that gets rid of a ruthless hit aspect of it. Maybe we'll eventually want to get rid of blood infection. I get the feeling we're not going to want this either way. Let's drop it. Go to the tavern. Okay, we got to be cautious of our money. That's for sure. But we also need to increase our goods. So let's buy a purging stone. We still have a good amount of money here. That gets rid of a curse. That's not the good potion. Uh, so now our good is at... Where is it? Plus two. We can make it plus three by buying this, right? No, you cannot. Never mind. For some reason, I thought that did that. I must be thinking of something else. Okay, then I think we can just go here. Oh, we should probably talk to the nurse and refill our flask, huh? I think we should be fine. Okay. Now, we upgrade this. There we go. The hero sword plus one. Okay. I mean, it's it's boring. Wait, what is this? Upgrading the heroes. I got the I got the Wikipedia page pulled up. It doesn't scale with intelligence, but it does scale with dexterity, thank god, at least, huh? Upgrading the hero sword to plus four while having one of the flex materials, which I guess we don't know what that is yet, in your inventory evolves the weapon to a legendary sword. Okay. So I guess we're going to keep going on the hero sword then, right? For now. We're not going to look at a magic weapon ahead. Uh, I probably don't want to use it yet. Medium range. Because of the bleed stuff, right? Hopefully, I'm looking at the different types and they don't look like they're bleed themed, to be honest. I guess we just take a couple of busies here. Do I or do I roll these doors? We don't have that many rolls. Okay, progress has been made. But there a lot more upgrading needs to be done. Thank God we got a, a juicy amount of money recently, huh? Ooh, all epics. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Looking around here. We got all of our spider friends out. Okay. I went a little hard in there. Just rushing the boss, kind of. Okay. Sam is back. Oh my golly. Oh, okay. <laughs> I had to not breathe for a moment there. <laughs> Still got our res though. All right, so now we got to we got to upgrade the sword one more time. 
Ooh, we got an epic too. Plus three armor. We're probably doing that. 20% increased damage depending how evil your alignment is. No. Oh, but we got the apron. Each point of strength additionally grants bleed damage. So our strength is terrible, unfortunately. And it's probably not going to get better. We only have six. Well, it's actually not that bad compared to the other stats. And I know it's bleed themed, but it looks like we're not really going to be able to keep doing the bleed stuff at this rate, right? So I wonder if we're better off using the sword because it's plus three for the lucky hit stuff. Um, so now I kind of want to put this on, right? Which means I should probably swap back to this. This gives us plus one on the upgrade level. Which means I don't want to use the hero sword, probably, right? Yeah, I think this all makes sense. I believe it do. Okay, let's go. Okay. We're thinking here. I feel like we just haven't really locked in on much is the best way i can describe it ice flex do we want to put ice on our broken hero sword some kind of ice element it looks like the options that i'm seeing are heat flex bolt flex ice flex toxic flex or a dark flex so maybe i kind of just don't care because i don't really have synergies for any of those elements already although i don't like ice just kind of slows enemies so yeah we might end up re-rolling... Ah, oh, crap. We might end up rolling that trait that has to do with bleed in the long run, huh? Unfortunately. We need more money still. Because we kind of got to... We got to keep upgrading. Do do. Okay, so we got our element. We just need to find another blacksmith. I think we just take the money over looking at weapons because the, the weapon is kind of locked in, right? We're going to have a legendary sword by the end of it. Okay, anyone? Oink. Let's see. Yeah, we got enough bombs. Let's get some more strength out here. One of the whiskeys ran out, it looks, so I'll use the other. Hmm... We haven't had any dex in a while, even though we, we found some dex vitamins. Oh my golly god. Holy- oh my god. <laughs> Sweet Moses. Okay. <sighs> we have some money for the shop, but we gotta be careful, right? We definitely don't want any quivers. Uncommon offhand. Is this thing one or two-handed right now? It is currently only one-handed. Frost Orbital that deals frost damage. Uh, another offhand, but it seems okay. We need the Paladin Helmet. It weighs too much right now. It costs 16 gold. Hmm, interesting. Kind of interested. I need 25 to upgrade the sword one last time. But I need, like, one more gold if I take this. Before we see the next blacksmith. We'll be okay, right? I just can't equip it quite yet. Until we actually get the sword going. I hope the... I hope the sword isn't doesn't weigh too much. I'm oh, sorry. I hope the sword isn't two-handed. Because then obviously that'd be a waste of money. Come on. Um... Hmm. Something tells me we're not going to care about... Oh, I don't know. If we put an element on the sword, What kind of, what's the scaling going to look like? It might just be triple S scaling. Or something like that, right? I'm kind of picturing. Just don't really know. Ooh, the whetstone is perfect, actually. Yeah. Shazam? Am I really going to use this? Probably not. Okay. So, we can use the whetstone then. Hero sword plus three? Apparently it was only plus three. No blacksmith. There we go, the Frostbringer. Triple S scaling. Attacks per second five, range medium periodically. Calls down a blizzard on enemies that inflicts chill. Deals cold damage with each snowflake. Blah, 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 blah. Baby doll. 
Let's go, huh? Okay, so looking at a melee weapon or melee weapon, since it's a mimic, probably not the most meaningful now, right? Okay, so it's not two-handed also. We just need more strength so I can actually put on... Oh, I confused myself for a second. I put on the paladin shield. I was like, this thing looks like a freaking tooth. That does not look like a paladin shield. Wow, look at that attack speed. Holy God. I actually kind of like the frost thing. We do have two keys, but I think I'd rather just look at charms. I could roll this to try to get set items. We could use new boots, new helmet. The helmet that we want is the paladin one, right? Um, We still need to upgrade the Frostbringer now, too. <laughs> so we still need a lot more money. I think I'm okay with just looking at a charm. You could roll there. I don't know. We're on floor seven. It just feels like we... Uh... I mean, it's a long-term goal. Holy God. Okay. Oh, scary stuff, huh? Oh, man. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. That close range, you know? Plus 5% crit chance. It's okay. Plus 2 mana. No. Uh, move speed with boots? No. We want to roll these or just take 5% crit chance. I think you just take 5% crit chance. It's fine, right? It is fine. So let's take a look, because I still only have three traits. That's actually very, very low. So Alacrity is still great, but Blood inflex Infection is now useless. Our Offhand is now useless, so I should actually just put the Wedding Ring back on now, just to give it plus one level, right? Because we don't, we don't deal bleed damage, as far as I can tell. So we should now roll the Blood Infection... The other one is not great either, I guess. The close range crap. Fire and blood, it says. The hell is that? You can stack burn and bleed up to 10 stacks, but burn and bleed deal 50% less. No. Stop that right now. <laughs> okay, I guess we're going to go ahead and do that again. Goodbye. Welcome, lightning conductor. Non-triggered lucky hits trigger chain lightning. We have 10% lucky hit chance. Yeah, I mean, it does something, I guess. It's just not amazing, right? All right, we got a long way to go still. I guess we can... just get more health, right? Right? I mean, more stamina is kind of interesting with the... with our class here, right? Woohoo! Let's let the ice handle it. More armor sounds nice. Getting a lot of defense now. Wow. So, like, <laughs> yeah, you kind of don't got to be close at all. I guess we're going to an obsidian chest. Like, it feels like the blizzard are kind of... Is kind of handling things until this happens, I guess. You bastard. Flask refill. Tuxedo body armor. Your lucky hits intimidate. Makes them take more damage. Oh, that's one of the wedding things. I see. Well, I'm not taking off the demon shell, right? That's for sure. That's for sure. What kind of rolls we got? We got two rolls. I don't care that much about the booze. Okay, very nice. More strength, yes. We got to put on that shield, baby. The shield has something to do with armor, too, which we have quite a bit of. More lollipops. Very nice. Right? Do we have any curse? We have none. Nice. Whoa. There's the blacksmith. Did I ever get any more money? Huh. Your percent modifiers to movement speed also apply to attack speed. Not very good. Periodically trigger your on bomb effects. No. So our weapon does have a periodical here with the chill. So if there's something that we can do that with, it probably would be nice. Combat start, gain full stacks of battle rush, periodically trigger periodically trigger your on combat start effects, including this one every 10 seconds. Full stacks of battle rush. 
3% increased damage and move speed per stack. Stacks last one second, decaying one after another. I think it's a roll. After standing still, no. Slashing damage from you and your companions inflicts a stack of rupture. Hmm. Triggering cold effect grants increased lightning damage. It's mediocre, I think. Razor's Edge is maybe okay, right? We do do slashing damage. Uh, I think we can do better. Makes swords drain 0.1 mana. Additionally, each point of mana grants 10% more attack speed to mana draining weapons. That is interesting. Your attack speed is always your weapon's base attack speed. Okay, but percent modifiers to attack speed instead apply to base weapon damage. I feel like that could actually be okay here, maybe. Because the base attack speed is already very high. So we'd get 19% weapon damage from what I can tell if you look at the top right. But does this make sense? Spellblade? Each point of mana grants 10% more attack speed to mana draining weapons. Do I really want to make our weapon drain mana? I don't know. Let's try Steady Strikes. I've never tried it. I'm worried that the other one... I never got one more gold. Oh my god, you're annoying. Hmm. Upgrade the sword. But I can only do it once. What if I try anyway? <laughs> I am going to trade stats here. Uh. Oh yeah, our attack speed actually did go down when you look at it. Hmm. Maybe I should have rolled that trade again. I don't know. Yeah, we want this strength really badly. Whoa. Set item? What set I I'm looking for the paladin set item still. This still weighs a little too much. The wedding ring is useless. Hopefully it doesn't give me more crap like that. Yeah, let's let's go this way, right? And maybe it'll show us the paladin helmet. Sort of what I'm thinking. Let's go. Good night, Cerberus. Used all my stamina to try to get the clones out. Damn you, game. Damn you, Cerberus. Die, you monster. How's our good situation exactly here? Plus two on the good, currently. It does not look like a paladin helmet. Might roll these. On non-triggered lucky hits... What is our lucky hit chance exactly? 10%? Not very high. Throw a syringe at the target. No? Lightning damage to melee attacks. No, also? Like, our... Our gloves aren't... Are a little odd, I'll admit. But these aren't good. I thought I said all set items. I guess this one got upgraded. I think this is a roll, right? Come on, paladin helmet. I bet it weighs a ton is the only issue, right? I don't see a paladin helmet. Taking damage trigger a confetti explosion. No. Fencing suit. Plus one stamina. No. 20% increased damage dealt to chilled enemies. What do our current, boot do? current boots do? Pretty much nothing. So, yes. It does weigh a lot more. Winter's Wrath. So, if I get the Ice Crown, your cold damage inflicts frostbite. Ooh, that could be fun. That could be fun. So, now we're even further away from putting on the Paladin Shield again. That's a law shop, huh? I don't have a lot of souls anyway, and it requires a key to open, and lawful is not really what we're going for, so... I think we skip. I don't know. Can I even see another good shop at this rate, though? No, we could potentially spend money uh, at a tavern. Ooh, that's very nice. Oh, a little laggy there. Please go away. Uh, uh, uh. So we can go for the ice crown over the paladin helmet, potentially. Hmm. Come on, show me some strength. Okay, epic weapons. If I just roll these, maybe that's stupid. Plus three intelligence, or... Yeah, I'm still gonna go intelligence. We're still pretty behind on the traits. 
We might not have six by the time we beat death at this rate. Yeah, we'll go to the pawn shop now. We can use a lot more money. We're dropping this. We're dropping the boots. We're gonna drop the other weapon now, too. We're dropping the wedding dress. Should I just drop the paladin shield? Will I ever realistically be able to get that much more strength, I wonder? Hmm. I'm gonna hold it. It is a good question, though. I'm not so certain we will ever have enough for it, right? Oh, who knows? Maybe we'll get that trait that uh, does that weird thing. <laughs> it's the best way I can describe it. Wait a minute. Was I supposed to get a couple soul hearts a bit ago? Am I nuts? Did I not do it? Maybe I didn't do it. I do want to enchant our weapon. We need money to roll the shop, though. What do we got? We got Decay. Do it deadly, even. Plus 50% critical hit multiplier. Okay. Let's roll. We're going to have to spend a lot of money on this. We need the curse thing. We did not get offered. We did get this thing offered, though. Only cost five. That puts us at how much good? Oh, right. It's only once per run on these. That puts us at plus three. Right? It's only once per run, I think. Uh-oh. So I can't get to do the cursing anyway, I think. Uh-oh. 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 I think I may have not hit the petrified soul heart thing a while ago. Am I crazy? I can't remember now. Definitely the lollipop. We're going to have more intelligence than anything here. Just like in real life. Hmm. Increased effect of buffs. No. I'm looking for things that make the periodical probably trigger more often, right? At this rate. Hmm. Our lucky hit chance is just nothing special. 10%. Aura that inflicts burn. Gain increased stats from your companions based on how many companions you have. How many... Is it how many different companions I have? I have four companions right now. When you taunt or charm an enemy, gain arrogance. 100% increased damage with non-crits. Last for eight seconds. Our companions give us a bunch of critical multiplier. Kind of interesting, but I'm not really convinced it's the right way to go. Hmm. We could have more spider companions here. Natural damage rolls from you always roll minimum. After not attacking for one second, no. The booze buff effects are permanent. You have 100% and have 100% increased effect. It's a bit late for that too, huh? Like, am I even going to see another tavern at this rate? Oh, these are bad. Aren't they? I guess we're taking it. I do have one booze now, at least. We could get two more. Don't really want body armor. Don't want a magic weapon. I only have one roll here. Our gloves are fine. I guess we'll look at rare items. We want to replace our accessory. We want to replace our helmet. I think those are the biggies. Good night, my friend. You have to destroy these crystals? I don't even remember. Whoa. Okay, we're dead. They're dead, rather. Still very far away from enough strength. We have 10 strength, 13 dex, 18 intelligence. Our Frostbringer is at plus two. On dropping a bomb trigger, your on death defy, defy death effects and your on dash effects. Interesting. On defy death and on revive, gain a second wind. Ice crown, baby. Grants 10% increased cold damage. Your cold damage inflicts frostbite. Stack of element that consumes all stacks to deal 100% of accumulated cold infliction damage. Baby, baby, baby. That sounds badass. I don't even care about the rest. Winter's Wrath is now activated. Almost missed this. <laughs> I don't know if I can get the plus four good now, right? Because there's no shops at the end of the 10th floor. 
Do I even want to look at set items? Not really. Right? Hmm. Oh. Okay. No res. We're still pretty far behind in, uh... I don't know if there's one or two more traits left. But... Oh, there's only one more trait. Okay. Boof. Yeah, I think we're... We're tapped on the plus good, sadly. I gotta remember the booze thing. I can't really improve lawful anymore either, right? Remember the booze buff. Okay, let me in. So this will make us evil. But maybe it doesn't matter anymore? You know? <laughs> hmm. Radiant damage to your melee stuff. Probably keeping all this stuff now. Legendary companion. Each gnome grants plus one luck. Zombie arm. Increased damage dealt to bosses. Yeah, like, how much does it matter? Because you have to have plus four on the good. So I guess I should just buy stuff here for fun. Because I, I can't think of a way to increase our good anymore now. Quick money gun. Oh, this is the gun that we wanted with our infinite money run. This weapon gains 1% more attack speed per gold you have. Up to 500%. God damn. Uh, I guess we're going to do this, right? Drop this. I don't think you buy stamina surge. Right? You could take the gnome companion, but for a bunch of luck, but what's the point nowadays, right? Increased dash length. 25% increased chance of on attack effects taking effect. That's not how the chill walks. The chill walks, the chill works. It's periodically. So it looks like we go. You could go for the torch, but it's kind of just whatever. Oh, booze? Yeah, I think we go booze over shop now. Wah. We only got one, and it's wine, unfortunately. Uh, let's see. What level are you? Plus two? Yeah, I think I upgrade as much as I can. Which is only once, I guess. <laughs> what a run where, like... I don't know. It feels like we still we had quite a few dud pieces of equipment out there. Some empty slots and everything. When you deal a critical or ruthless hit, gain Berserk. 20% more attack and move speed. It's okay. Reduce global tally threshold requirements by one. Additionally, reduce global tally requirements for each maximum block you have. Uh, tally of eight melee attacks. Kick the nearest enemy. Dealing striking damage and trigger your on dash effects. We don't really have on dash effects. I feel like it's just Berserking, right? I think. What is that bad boy? Take it. Plus one chaotic. What does that do again? Periodically inflicts corruption to all enemies in the room every second. Let's go, baby. So we have all of our traits. Some of them are weird. Yeah, the traits kind of didn't really go in a way that I uh, felt like would be totally useful. But here we are. It's been interesting, to say the least. All right, death. That was pretty quick. That was pretty quick. Diddle doo doo, diddle doo doo. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Get roasted, baby. Boom, 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 boom. All right, well. Our accessory currently gives us plus one to weapon upgrade level, so it just has to be better than that. That's move speed. That's terrible. Uh, no, that's Terry Blay. Okay, these are the worst things I've ever seen. Okay, yeah, we're not removing the Ice Crown. Do I have any rolls here? I do. I guess we'll roll it then. Can we get a better accessory here? It's possible that we might not find anything better than plus one to weapon upgrade. Plus 10% increased attack speed. I don't know if that's better. No. Those are all bad, too. I'm gonna say. Come on, game. Help me. 
What is that? What is that? What is that, though? Plus one to maximum companions. Okay. So what that will allow us to get two more spiders, which gives us more critical hit multiplier, which I'm going to hope is worth. So now we have six spider friends. Let's go, baby. This is very befitting for Arthas, right? The Lich King also. So right now we have two good, zero lawful. I guess we're going to heaven just to kind of look at it. That, that was sort of where we aimed the run, I guess. So best we can do now. Uh, yeah, I guess we do this, right? I guess I go health, actually, right? Allows us to equip more that we definitely don't need. Uh, mana drain stuff. These are bad. We have any rolls. We have one roll, but not the kind that we want. Okay. I guess I should have bought... Ooh, that gives us cold. Nice. We should have bought that extra lawful thing just for the sake of getting our plus good up, I guess, right? In hindsight. What can you do, though? We got kind of unlucky with the end shops, right? It happens. I guess I'll go this way. Never got to put on our paladin shield. Oh, wait. Or did we? Or did we? I don't know. I think the, the crown increased our, our equip load. Damn it. <laughs> Maybe it could happen again. More crit hit multiplier. Give us another meat shank thing. Oh my god, that thing just dies instantly. We have no souls. We're not going to go to a soul shop. Critical hit chance? Or we get intelligence, because apparently we have a shitload of intelligence. Hmm. I think you do actually go this way. Because intelligence grants you crit anyway. And our weapon is scaling. S scaling, right? We have full charms. Hmm. Do, 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 do. do I just look at another offhand? I think we just look at another offhand. That we might be able to equip. Oh, wait. This is the last chamber, right? Bahamut. Oh, just get in there, baby. It's fine. Just face tank it, right? Where'd you go? I like this part of the fight. I like it when it's so, like it's panic inducing, but the only trick is just to stay calm, really, right? And you're done. <laughs> it's been too long. That was it, right? Because we're not good enough good enough i'm still curious what we get here oh come on this is what you hand us the hell is that actually i guess it's fitting that's another offhand actually deals striking damage on completing a rotation inflicts confusion to the nearest enemy interesting oh these are all offhands huh when entering a boss room if you don't have a soul heart already gain one plus one block also is that better maybe might be all right, send us back, I guess, right? Yeah, send us back. We're not worthy. Drink the ichor. If the ichor is there, that means that we're not worthy. I guess I wasn't certain if there's going to be like a, a, a cheeky little trick there. Or something. I might have to take the talent point that reduces the requirements at the end. Just so we can get to the floor 12 more easily in the future, right? But hey, that was a fun run. Good doppelganging, I gotta say. Um... I got, hold on, I got my Broken Hero Sword achievement, right? I sure hope so. I did, okay, fully repair the Broken Hero Sword. I s scared myself, but yeah, another achievement down. Knock one off. Thank you all so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode.